Okay, hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you my homeschool plan for next year. Um, I find that a lot of people have either already planned or are starting to think about planning and trying to figure it out. So, I've done a little bit of research um, and I think I have figured it out for my family. Here's the tip though. Last, the last two times I've done homeschool, I have planned out for the whole year, the entire year. Um, and I found that that made it so that we were very strict following the schedule, um, couldn't, no flexibility. No flexibility or if I had to move things, I was very stressed. It just wasn't good. Part of that was because I wrote everything in pen, which I don't recommend. So this year, um, by the way, my favorite planner is the Golden Coil Planner. This isn't sponsored, not at all. I wish. If you want to sponsor me, Golden Coil, here I am. Um, I love the Golden Coil. Here's why. You go on, you build your own planner. What works for me isn't going to work for you. What works for you isn't going to work for me. So, you build your own planner how you want it. I love to have the Year at the Glance page. I can kind of go through and be like, okay, this is kind of what I want to do in these months. Here's the other thing, um, with our homeschooling this year, I've decided that we are going to be switching to year-round homeschooling, just so we have more time, more flexibility, um, and my children do better without such a long break, and I find that we were taking our breaks in the heat of the summer. Um, it is beautiful where we live in this early spring and in the fall, the summer is beautiful as well, but really we do we do school for half the day. So we're just going to be more flexible. And in all honesty, I think for the summer when we're schooling, it's going to be in the afternoon when it's really hot outside. And in the morning, the kids will go play. Anyways, that being said, my year at a glance, you have six months on every page. Our school year is going to start in July every year. So I really like that this is the second half of the year. And this is the first half of the year. Um, it's a little backwards, you know. Um, I got some project pages on here. So this will be perfect for um, the school year when I'm planning out like a Christmas craft or something like that that I want the kids to do. Or as my kids get older, they'll have projects that they'll need to be doing as well. And I kind of want to be able to keep tabs on that. Um, so there's a couple pages of those. I did get this. Which, when I ordered this, I knew exactly how to use it and how I was going to use it. I, mean, I want to use it to track my children's progress in their book, especially where we're doing year-round. I just want to make sure that they're getting it done within the year. Um, but now that I have this here, I can't remember how I was going to lay it out. So, there's that. But... That's, that's my hope, is to track my children's progress on that. Then I have the bucket list page so that we can do like a homeschool bucket list, things that my kids want to do. And this is something that we'll fill out and do together um, as we gear up to start the new school year. And then I have, they have online orders pages, all of the science units that we don't own or all of the future release science units that I would like to buy um, when they do come out with them. So this is on a post-it note because it's not a need to buy, it's a want. <laughs> um, all of these were need to buys. You get your month at a glance page, which again, these are all things that you can add in on your own. I'm just showing you guys what I have. Um, so we have our month at a glance, and this is when I've decided that we are going to start school. And what we are going to do is we're actually going to do nine week school time. Can you guys see, these are all of the notes that I have for myself. So, um, for example, I love, I love writing in pen. And so it's something that I have to be careful with. But in my planner, I have to write in pencil or else I'm going to stress myself out. So, week one, week two, week three is all in pencil. And that's because um, it's going to be tentative. Depending on um, my recovery with the baby, usually um, about two weeks after having the baby, I'm ready to get back to real life. Um, not like, I don't know. I don't sit around and do nothing for six weeks, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So the sooner I can just wrap my baby to me and we I can guide them through their schooling, the better. So week one, is it going to be full on, full tilt, full steam ahead? I don't know. We're going to see. Beauty about homeschooling, we're going to see. 
But then I have like things in here that I need to do for the kids. Like I need to make them a schedule that they can have and like check off themselves. We are going to make time for art five times a month at the least. Um, even if that's just like drawing or coloring, coloring pages. Um, my kids really love that creative outlet and so I find that we need to have it scheduled. And then I also found that this year when we were doing, we do, we have, we have, my kids are getting older and they're getting into more activities. And so we have tumbling and we have piano. And I found that me personally would get stressed out about getting their stuff done before their extracurriculars. I, I, cause I knew that once we left the house, that was it. Like <laughs> we weren't coming back to school. Mama wasn't coming back to school. Like that was it. That was, that was how it was going to be. So, um, I really wanted to move because what we can do, we can always get our math and our language done every single morning, but I really wanted to move, um, history and science to different days or to at least be able to take it off of the days that we had extracurriculars. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. This is the layout that I have for this year. Um, last year I had more of like a block scheduling thing and it was fine, it just wasn't my favorite. So I tried something different this year. Um, this is the day and then we have our to-dos. And so this is where I'm gonna put everything that we need to get done for school. And then if anything fun's happening, like a party that we're going to, um, we're gonna go to the museum instead, it's somebody's birthday, different things like that. Okay. Week one on Monday, we need to do history one, math, language, and scriptures, okay? And then, it's the same routine for Tuesday. Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday we do have um, an extracurricular in the afternoon that day, but it's like in the evening, so we can for sure get everything done before that becomes an issue. On Wednesday, my kids go to piano and I have it scheduled so that, well, this was when my husband was working from home, so it might change, but we have it scheduled earlier in the afternoon so that I could leave the babies home napping while dad was working and then we'd be home before the boys woke up from naps. Um, is that how it's going to fly this year? I don't know. That's why it's written in pencil. Um, but I do like the idea of keeping piano on the Wednesday just because it gives us like a good halfway mark for our week. But um, we'll see if the time is the same. But regardless, we have moved history. There's no more history on this day. I also am not flipping in between the two anymore. I'm not doing history and science, history, science. We are just going to do all of the history lessons for unit one before we dive into a science. So, um... So on this day, we don't have history or science. It would be piano. And then you come over to Thursday and we're back to doing history. And this is kind of the end of our school week, okay? And then on Friday, I did write this in pen. This is our grace day. Anything that like we didn't get done, the kids didn't get accomplished, we need extra help on, whatever it is, lands on that grace day. That's just, that's just how it's gonna be. Whereas before in the past, I always told the kids, Monday through Thursday, get your stuff done. Monday through Thursday, we're getting our stuff done. Friday, we're not doing school. We're not doing school, I won't do it, we're, we're not doing it. I was like totally against it. Guess what? My kids thrive with structure. So they're very much like their mom. Mom needs to know what's going on and what we're doing. Um, so Friday is our grace day. Now, if we don't have anything that we need to catch up on, it can also be our field trip day. Like we're gonna go for a hike or whatever it may be. But it also leaves that day open so that we have a co-op that we are a part of. And most of the time, um, our homeschool co-op groups go on field trips on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And so it gives us the opportunity to move that day or sh push our days down and fill that Friday as well so we can go do more fun things. Also on the Friday, so let me just flip ahead really quick. Oh, planning ahead like this as well. So during the first nine weeks of school, my daughter has her birthday. Um, and so on that day, I actually accounted for us not doing school that day at all. <laughs> um, the kids won't know that. So if they get up and decide to do their independent work, 
perfect. Um, but we're not going to be doing school that day at all. We're actually going to be going to a local museum, children's museum, and they can just play and have fun and it just kind of can be like an all day happy birthday celebration thing for her. But it still works out for our school timeline, if that makes sense. Like planning ahead this way, knowing that that's there, I'm good to skip that day completely and we're not, we're staying on track. Now, something I wanted to point out about our grace day it is also the day that I want, sorry, I have an itchy nose. I've never had allergies and then we moved out east and I'm allergic to the pine tree pollen. It's just, there's a lot of it. Didn't, didn't expect there to be this much. Anyways, off topic. Our grace day, I also want to include our 50 states unit. Here's the thing. This is just a fun unit. It's basically art. Um, if you've seen the video before, it's just basically coloring pages and we're learning about different states. That's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. Um, and then, okay, as I went on, we are planning a trip. So they're going to do school for nine weeks. So this is, this is ideally my plan. Like I said, everything in my planner is in pencil. So that means we can change it, but we are going to try this. We're going to give it our best effort the first nine weeks and then taking a week off to go on a vacation. So we have this vacation planned and I've sat down and we've picked the days. So in my planner, weeks before the vacation, I have written down, okay, I need to get tickets for this. We need to be booking the hotel. We need to be doing this for this time, for, for, our, for our vacation that we're gonna be taking. Um, and then we just keep flipping. Something about also knowing what vacation we're going to be taking is the state that we are going to. We are going to study that in that Friday. The vacation that we're taking is more of a educational vacation. So technically it counts as school because they're gonna be learning the whole time that we're there. Um, and because of that, I our grace day is going to be filled with these little tidbits, these little informational um, things about where we're going and what we're going to go see. So that's kind of how I have planned all of those weeks. After that, I don't really have a plan. Again, it's all written in pencil. I would like to take our second quarter, if we continue with this schedule because we like it, our second quarter um, puts us about Thanksgiving time as our break. Um, and I want to be able to take off the month of December in terms of history and science just because I want our month of December to be more Christ-centered, Christ-focused. Little Christmas crafts, um, service. I just want December to be more about giving than receiving this year. And that's kind of what I have planned for December. Again, I don't know if this is going to work out for us. Um, just this like essentially 10 week school schedule, this nine week on, one week off thing. Um, but we'll see. And, uh, but in December, the kids will still do their math and their language. What would just change is the history or the science aspect of it all. My biggest advice for you is to plan out your year in pencil and don't plan out the year, if that makes sense. Plan out so many weeks in pencil, so many months in pencil. Um, if there's certain things that you really know that you are wanting to do, certain crafts, certain activities, certain um, unit focuses, certain, certain um, I don't know, holidays that you really want to dive deeper into, account for that in your, in your planning. And also just realize what works for me is not going to work for you. I tried one way for two years and we didn't like it. But also know that if something feels hard, if it feels like work, if it feels like that, then you should look at changing it. Um, balance the magic, the magic of homeschool. That's really, that's really what it comes down to. Is homeschooling is so so magical. Don't overschedule yourself and don't plan so far in advance that you lose the magic of homeschool. That's, that's what I would say. Homeschool is, it, again, it's, it's not for everyone, but if you can capture the magic and if you can envelop yourself in the homeschool philosophy and the homeschool idea of family and 
um, Christ-centered education, then I think you'll be in good hands. That's all I've got for you guys today. Let me know in the comments down below what videos that you've either created or you've seen um, of other people's homeschool schedules. I search, I search it all the time on YouTube or on Instagram or wherever just to get as many ideas as I can because I find that it's not a one fits all. It's bits and pieces of certain people's idea I like and I have pulled it into what we're going to be doing this year. Um, and, and we'll see, we'll see if it works for us and if it doesn't work for us, well then, we'll, we'll, I am more than happy to keep researching and find something else that does work. But that's all I have for you guys and we'll see you in the next one, bye.